Hello and welcome to our how-to tutorials for V-Ray. In this tutorial, we demonstrate how the parameters of V-Ray Fast SSS2 material work together to get a color translucent plastic shampoo bottle. Let's start by assigning a V-Ray Fast SSS material to the bottle. I'll rename it to Bottle Material for ease of use. First, we want the bottle to be translucent. So let's look at how we can get this effect. Change the single scatter mode to ray trace to refractive to introduce refractive properties to the material. Next, set the color mode to scatter coefficient and fog color. This mode is designed for translucent or refractive materials. For the proper work of this color mode, we need to set the correct scatter radius values. For the bottle in the scene, we keep it at 1 cm. It is also important to set the right index of refraction. The index of refraction defines how the material refracts transmitted light. Cosmetic plastic bottles are commonly made out of PET, so we use PET's IOR here, which is 1.575. Feel free to experiment with different plastic IOR values to get the desired look. Let's render and see what we accomplished. You can see the liquid content clearly, but in terms of having a plastic bottle, the look is not quite yet there. Now, let's cover the bottle. To match the bottle cover to the cover of the cap, we can play with the scatter coefficient and full cover parameters. In general, lighter scatter coefficient cover values make the object look more opaque, while darker colors make it more refractive. At the same time, dark full cover makes it opaque. I'll set the scatter coefficient to light green and the full color to dark green with a yellow tint to give the bottle some density. The color looks good and the bottle is still see-through. Next, let's enhance the reflections. The specular layer controls the reflections or the specular component of the material. Increase the specular glossiness to 0.75. If we look at how light travels through different media, we realize that plastic as a volume behaves like a rigid body. The light scatters mostly backwards through it, and for that we need to change the phase function to minus 0.5. The glossiness highlights are better pronounced and emphasize the curvature of the bottle. The overall look achieves a plastic go. The bottle is not as glossy as glass, yet it is not as soft as rubber. We are ready for the final step. I've got a blend material prepared with shampoo labels for the bottle, so I'll add the bottle material we created as a base. Assign the blend material to the bottle. Let's go back to the bottle material. Enable the scatter GI option. This makes the material scatter global illumination more accurately especially for translucent materials such as ours. Then, increase the refraction depth to 8. The more we increase this parameter, the more ray bounces we get inside the volume. Render. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make a plastic translucent material with V-Ray for 3ds Max.